Welcome to my channel, I'm Gary Wiryawan and today I want to talk about this sling bag right here. This is the Alpaca Go Sling. Let's go! If you guys have been following my channel, I am a photographer, not a professional photographer, but a hobbyist photographer, and I always love travel photography. And that means I'm always looking for a camera bag that doesn't really look like a camera bag. So over here, I have the Alpaca Go Sling Mini, which I use as my dedicated camera bag and i really love this little guy it has been perfect as my camera carry solution you can check out the full review up here on the card above but today we're going to talk about the slightly larger version of the go sling mini which is the alpaca go sling so by the way i just got back from japan to have a little bit of vacation time with my family and my wife and initially i planned to bring my Alpaca Go Sling Mini and I made a video about my packing list when I'm traveling to Japan. You can check out the video up here. But I ended up bringing the Alpaca Go Sling instead because I want to test it. And in this video, I want to share to you my experience of using the Alpaca Go Sling for travel photography in Japan while transiting and also in the destination and how it compares between the Alpaca Go Sling and the Alpaca Go Sling Mini. A quick disclaimer, I just want to say thank you to Alpaca Gear for sending me the Alpaca Go Sling for free for a review. However, all of the opinions in this video are my own and they don't have any saying on this video. By the way, if you guys are interested in this bag, check out the link on the description below and you can use the coupon code as well down below. So now let's talk about some basic specification of the Alpaca Go Sling, starting with the capacity, which is 5.5 liters. It is not really that much bigger compared to the Alpaca Go Sling Mini. The Alpaca Go Sling Mini is only 4 liters, and this one is 5.5 liters, so that's just about 1.5 liters of difference. But I can feel that the Alpaca Go Sling is so much more roomier compared to the Alpaca Go Sling Mini. You can fit so much more stuff inside without feeling cramps or just too crowded. The weight of the Alpaca Go Sling is about 610 grams. It is pretty heavy for a sling bag and I personally much prefer a lighter sling bag. However, the quality, which we will talk about soon, is really high. The materials, the compartment, all of the features of this bag really justifies the increased weight of the bag. So now let's quickly talk about the materials of the Alpaca Go Sling. For the exterior, it is made from Exoflux recycled fabric 600D. It is very weather resistant. And then for the internal lining, it is made from 300D ripstop nylon. So compared to the Alpaca Go Sling Mini, the materials of the exterior of the Alpaca Go Sling Mini is so much more softer in my opinion. It is more comfortable. However, the Alpaca Go Sling with the Exoflux fabric feels so much more rugged and robust and it just feels more secure in my opinion. Also, the Alpaca Go Sling features waterproof zippers on all of its compartments and the combination of the zippers and also the weatherproof materials really help to make the Alpaca Go Sling highly weather resistant. When I was in Japan, I was walking in Tokyo, in Karuizawa and Osaka under heavy rain and the bag manages to held up really well. There's nothing wet inside. It kept everything inside my cameras, my travel documents, my EDC dry and safe. A little note about the material of the Alpaca Go Sling. I think the Exoflux fabric catches on dirt and dust and fur really easily, but thankfully it is very easy to clean so you can keep your bag looking nice and handsome all the time. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now let's talk about the compartments of the alpaca gosling. So there are three main compartments of the alpaca gosling. First is the front pocket right here, and then you have the main pocket in the middle, and then on the rear, there's like a hidden pocket right there. So now let's talk about the main compartment of the alpaca gosling. This is where you will store your main items that you want to carry inside this bag. For example, your camera, your travel document, your everyday carry, your electronics, headphones, all that kind of stuff. I think they will go into this main compartment. Inside, there are some organizational features. First, we have two pockets right here, very similar to the Ghostling Mini. And then also a sleeve for your tablet that can fit up to 11 inch iPad, which is larger compared to the tablet sleeve of the Ghostling Mini, which can only accommodate up to eight inch tablet. And then also we have a zippered pockets inside of the main compartment, something that the Alpaca Ghostling Mini doesn't really have. And it is very useful for storing small items that you don't want to lose, like an extra battery for your camera or maybe extra SD cards and other small flat items as well. The main compartment of the Alpaca Ghostling, I think is really large enough to fit some miscellaneous items that you normally won't be able to fit inside a sling bag. For example, you can easily fit scarves and gloves when you are traveling during winter into the main compartment of the Alpaca Ghostling. You can also fit a small water bottle, 300 milliliter inside the main compartment of the Alpaca Ghostling. And even I can fit something like this. This is my packable day pack. This is the Matador Refraction Packable Bag pack 16 liters you can fold it up and fit it inside of the alpaca ghostling main compartment with no problem so now let's take a look at the front compartment of the alpaca ghostling so right here we have two large pockets that you can use to store smaller items such as your earphone hand lotion maybe some cables power bank you can even fit your phone in here no problem i think the uh, pockets are really spacious and really large but it's not as large as the main compartment but very useful for something that you need to access really quickly on the front compartment there's also this magnetic key tether that you can use to quickly attach and detach your keys I don't really use it to attach and detach my keys. However, I attach my mini compass and thermometer here on the magnetic key tether system right here because I think it is very useful for travel. You want to know where you are going and how cold the weather is going to be when you are traveling. So now let's take a look at the rear compartment of the Alpaca Ghostling. I think this is very nice for storing important items such as your passport, your boarding pass, your slim wallet, your phone right here because it is very close to your body and it features hidden zippers so that it can help to keep you away from pickpockets. Now let's talk about the carry system of the Alpaca Go Sling and first let's talk about the main strap right here. I think the strap has a really nice length that you can adjust, you can shorten it, you can make it long, you can turn it into a shoulder messenger bag, whatever, very easily. And it is also padded that makes it really comfortable for you to carry this bag for a long period of time without feeling burdened. The Alpaca Ghostling Mini, the smaller version of this bag, doesn't have this padding. So the addition of this padding is really something that I'm really thankful for. The Alpaca Ghostling also features this new magnetic release buckle system, which is really nice in my opinion if you want to quickly wear or unwear the bag. And because it is magnetic, I found out that it is also very useful for attaching magnetic things into <laughs> this magnetic buckle system right here. For example, I have right here, this is the Insta360 GoTo little action camera that I use to record POV vlogging, especially when I'm doing street photography. I can just put it into the magnetic buckle system and I can just have an attachment point and be ready to record my POV footage and then also i can attach the microphone for my dji osmo pocket 3 the wireless microphone is also magnetic i can put it right here aim it to my mouth and i don't have to worry about putting the microphone into my shirt and uh, worry about the microphone rubbing into my t-shirt or my jacket that kind of stuff it's just really nice and useful in my opinion 
The strap is also completely removable, so it is very easy. For example, if you wanna store the sling bag inside your main backpack, you wanna have the strap separated and just uh, store the sling bag inside your backpack. You can do that. But I actually found this feature very useful for attaching oversized dangling items. For example, your grocery bag, souvenirs, that kind of stuff. I can just unlock the strap put the oversized item on the strap and lock it back and have that oversized item secured into the bag without having to store it inside of the main compartment. Apart from the main strap of the alpaca ghostling, we also have this top carry handle right here which isn't available on the alpaca ghostling mini. I think for a sling bag of this size, a top carry handle is a must. It really helps you to pick up the sling bag from the ground and have it with you really easily without having to deal with the long main strap. So now let's talk about what I usually carry inside the alpaca ghostling, especially for travel photography like what I just did in Japan. First, let's talk about camera and lenses. As some of you guys might already know, I'm all about the smaller camera and lenses. So I'm using Microfotus camera system. My camera of choice for travel photography is currently the Panasonic Lumix GX85 because it is small, it is very capable for both photography and video. And with the Alpaca Ghostling, I'm able to fit one camera body, the Panasonic Lumix GX85 with a few smaller lenses. I have the 14 millimeter Panasonic Lumix lens right here. Also, I have the kit lens, Panasonic Lumix 12 to 32 millimeter, and also a small telephoto lens like the 35 to 100 millimeter F4 to F5.6 Panasonic Lumix lens, and also a wide angle lens, Lawa 7.5 millimeter F2. Sometimes I'm even able to fit one more lens like the Panasonic Lumix 20 millimeter F1.7. And besides the cameras and lenses, I can also fit extra batteries, chargers, power bank, cables inside, and also some other photography accessories as well. Besides photography items, I can also fit my everyday carry item and also travel item as well. I can fit my passport, my phone, my wallet, I can fit my medicine, my candies, wet tissue, I can also still fit my earphone, my phone stand, and some other items as well inside the alpaca ghostling without the back feeling cramps or crowded inside. So after using the alpaca ghostling on my trip to Japan, I can really summarize my experience like this. So first of all, I'm really thankful for the larger capacity of the alpaca ghostling compared to the ghostling mini. The 5.5 liters capacity makes it really easy not only to carry my camera gear, but also my travel related gear, which is really important for travel photography. You don't wanna have a really cramped bag. You want your bag to feel spacious, but not too big and too heavy. And also the design and the aesthetic of the bag is really nice in my opinion. It is very inconspicuous. It doesn't really draw too much attention. I think this is perfect for both travel photography and also for street photography. You don't want to draw attention when you are on the street trying to photograph things that are happening in the street. And I think this bag really helps to do that. And also, I'm really thankful for the weather resistance of this bag. I was walking for hours under heavy rain in Japan and I don't get any problem at all with my gear. Everything was dry inside and I can quickly clean the bag and the bag is ready to go again. So overall, compared to the Ghostling Mini, I think the Alpaca Ghostling is a better choice if you want something bigger overall, if you really need that extra capacity, especially for travel photography. I think this really works not only for when you are in the destination and starting to do your photography session or things like that, but also during transit when you are in the plane, when you are in the airport. I think this is just a nice bag overall with that extra capacity and that better carry solution. For when you are just out and about and doing general photography stuff, I really think the Alpaca Coastling Mini is still a really nice bag as well. If you don't really need that extra capacity, go with the Ghostling Mini. If you need that extra capacity and better carry system, then go with the Ghostling. 
And that wraps up today's video. So that is all for today's video. I really hope that today's video about the Alpaca Ghost Link is really helpful and useful for you. Uh, if you have any question, please let me know down below and also don't forget to support my channel by liking this video sharing this video subscribing to my channel down below and if you want to support my channel even further consider using the affiliate links in the description below or use the super thanks button thank you and see you on the next video goodbye